What it do, what it do, it's your boy BX Brother 718 underscore TV. Of course, I'm live with NBA 2K23. USBA My League Online. Got my Knicks going up against the Nets. This is the battle of the borough here. Um, You know, Ocho want to come in here and claim New York, but it belongs to the Mecca. So I'm going to try my best. I did my settings, did everything right. Try to get down pack and try to get this damn victory. My boy Ocho. Ocho going to come for me. He's coming. He's coming big time. I was getting them in the, in the uh, preseason matchups before they started. Uh, before the uh, rosters were updated and new leagues were being created. So I don't know. Real cheap. I'm in live, I'm in. I'm in. Of course they win. I'm in. Okay. Like 
Sports checks in with our loyal viewers with the broadcast from Brooklyn, the home of the Nets, Barclays Center. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Back in Brooklyn, the Nets tip off the beginning of a homestand. And when these two teams meet, it doesn't matter what the standings look like. They are out for blood in this one. Yeah, you love it when you have these kind of games. Two teams evenly matched and going at it. Back to Simmons. Outside for Durant. Six on the shot clock. McGee with the block. And they'll keep possession. Here's Claxton. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Uh, my fault, Ocho. My bad, Ocho. My bad. Give me for like two more seconds. Pass to Brunson. Back to Randall. Randall is doubled. Now here's Fournier. Just five on the clock. Puts it up from 17. They get the rebound. Here's Randall. Over Clex. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And yes, there's been growth in Julius Randle and his oh team year after year, adding little things. But this game, big man focuses on playing to his strengths. And Greg, just like you, Julius Randle is a southpaw, left-handed. Yeah, and you know, the angles are different for lefties. We operate a little differently. And I think that can throw defenders off, so... I'm always going to pull for the southpaw. Now, here's Irving. Pass to Claxton. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And those assist numbers have always been there for Kyrie, spotting an open teammate that time. Now, here's Randall. And by Simmons. Randall down low. Right wing. Tries from 10. The shot's good from Brunson. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. Simmons. Pass to Claxton. And a wide-open hook for Irving. And that one's on target from the wing. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Outside Fournier. Randall outside. Down low. And out of bounds as Brooklyn gains possession. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. 
Left side, KD. On the wing, Irving. Back to Durant. Inside, Claxton. Excellent D that time there from McGee. And Barrett has got the ball here for New York. They trail by one. To the inside, McGee. That ball, nice speed that time from Brunson. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now, here is Irving. Here's Claxton. That one dropped for his second bucket. Again, two for four. Now Kyrie Irving being unselfish there, making a nice play for his guys. Randall down low. Misses from short range. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but it's like plenty of room. Pass to Simmons. Out to Harris. From 18 feet away. And they recover it. Outside Irving. Over Barrett. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Banked in off the glass. But sometimes with that ball, RJ can put it in some spots where the defender gets on his heels. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. making a switch here. Here's Simmons. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And last season, the Nets were a favorite to win it all. But Greg, a first-round sweep by the Celtics proved a very rude awakening. And Kyrie missing so many games. How about Harden wanting out? Hard to build chemistry and continuity. That has to be the focus moving forward. He hits the second from the line. And it's been a rough stretch for the New York Knicks, a team that has only had a handful of playoff appearances in the last 20 years. Now here's Irving. Pass to KD. Let's it go with a three. Nailed from three-point land. Even back at Texas when he was in college, KD would shoot that three. It would look good the moment it left his hand then. It still does. Here's Brunson. Here's McGee. Doesn't go that time. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Here's Claxton. He's defended by Randall. In the corner, O'Neal with it. Outside, Simmons. Back to KD. Six to shoot. Stolen by Brunson. Fournier with the ball. Outguarded by Simmons. 
New York moving the ball around. And here's Fournier. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And the slam dunk by McGee. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. At 6'11", with his passing skills, Simmons will always find the open man. Angle down low. Pocket six. Here's Barrett. And Durant sends it back. Simmons has got the ball here for Brooklyn. High post, KD. Back to Simmons. Drives to the hoop. Outside for Durant. A three-pointer off the mark. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Brunson. A rebound by the Nets. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Well, I had a chance to talk with head coach Steve Nash. He told me it's always a challenge when you face a team this opportunistic. He said those guys are going to look to take advantage of any weakness. We have to really communicate defensively tonight. Guys, back to you. Great update, David. Thanks. It'll be fascinating, Greg, to watch them try to slow down these shooters. No question. That's the focus defensively. But then, on the offensive end, they have to get production of their own. Yeah, spot on. It's going to take an all-around effort to pull out the victory here tonight. Pass to Sharp. Right side, Hardaway. Back to Randall. And the three off target. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this way. To the middle. Sharp. That's good. You he like that shade of sharp. Fourth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Pass to Brunson. Robinson on the wing. Back to Brunson. Robinson left side. And it's Durant with the rebound. Not a bad shot from the mid-range, but he's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. And here is O'Neal. KD with it. Picked up by Bill. Irving for three. His second miss, now two of four in the game. Robinson with it to the paint. And Robinson throws it down hard. And that's Mitchell Robinson's attitude. Anywhere around the rim, he's going to rock it. Irving from long range. Randall grabs the board. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Pass to Brunson. Outside Hardaway. That three off the mark. Brooklyn trailing. And on the way from Irving for three. That's his fourth miss from the floor. He's made two of his shots. And after all the drama and wanting out, Kyrie Irving remains a net. Feels like a bit of a farewell tour, but when he can heal all, and you never know what the future may hold, especially with Kyrie. Here's Brunson. Let's the three fly. And so it's Brooklyn with it. 
here is Durant. There's the three. He can't get that one. Now the next take it the other way. Pass to Hardaway. One forty-one left here in the opening quarter. Kicked by Randall. New York needs to get off a shot. Now, here is O'Neal. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Wants to get it to KD and done. Simmons. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Julius Randle picks one up. And give him credit. Simmons struggled at the line when he entered the league, but Ben's really improved his foul shooting. That's good from Simmons. Break Ben Simmons, one of four players in the entire history of the NBA to average at least seven rebounds and seven assists per game through his first four seasons. Think about it, Jordy. Magic Johnson, Oscar Robinson, and Luka Doncic. That is some pretty elite-level company. Now, here's quickly. And that's a foul called on T.J. Warren. That is his first foul of the game. Now a timeout. Called by Brooklyn. 2022 was a big season for Obi Toppin in his young career. Saw him continue to improve as a player, but the big moment obviously was that dunk contest when, after being a runner up the year before, he finally got to claim that trophy. Six left to play in the first quarter. Robinson. A slam dunk by Robinson. So many different offenses that Tim Hardaway Jr. has played in. But he's trying to improve in his on-court awareness. A good show of it there. Now, quickly. Following the three-point attempt by Kyrie Irving. Count that one. And the Knicks lead by four. Hey, um, wash your hands, though. So just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Master Irving. Hey, yo, right here. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You tried to guard Kyrie without fouling, and that is a challenge unto itself. So nimble with the ball and that shifty handle. The Nets have shot two free throws. It's in the green, the so green bowl. And, uh, they shot save me some Duke. I got to get some salad, too. Last season as Don't a eat team. it all. So you, you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there.
Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Pass to Hardaway. Back to quickly. There's the triple. Brooklyn with the rebound. Irving looking over the floor. Just three on the clock. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. New York ahead. They lead by a bucket. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. Tell you what, thank God for two controllers, man. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Knicks. I, I like how they've worked the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So if you get a steal, you can get out and transition. You seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. Nice there, getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. No good from Durant. The Knicks lead by four. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. One of the more striking things about Emmanuel quickly is his ability to draw fouls and get to the line. That's pretty special for a young player, and he's automatic when he gets there. Defense, Brooklyn. Four point game. Pass to McGee. There's the double team with Warren. Top it. No one around him. That one wide left. I know it's about defending the post and the three point line these days. Get out of here, man. Come on, man. In the mid range area, and the defense gets away with one there. And never say never. But we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. Free throw drops for KD. And when you think about Durant's singularity as a player, Steve Kerr said he's more gifted than Michael Jordan. Greg, what do you think of that? Well, Steve's had a first-hand view coaching KD and playing alongside Jordan. He didn't say greater, but more gifted. Uh, I think it's a conversation. And it's quickly missing. Brooklyn trailing. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one. -on -one dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? 
good advice. David, thanks. And the wide open shot from Warren. And that won't go, missing the go ahead bucket. Driving in. And there's the call on Durant. That's his first foul. Brooklyn on defense. Only given up two points this quarter. Inside. Toppin good. Toppin's got his first points of the night. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Now Curry. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Shot clock at six. What? Oh, what the? Right open. He shoots. They do not have him. Oh, they got topping. Yeah, with oh, how much attention the rent draws, he's a skilled passer. He'll make it happen. Outside Fournier. Back to quickly. And Curry pulls it down. And it's Warren with the ball for Brooklyn. From deep three-point range. And stolen by Fournier. In the corner, Barrett with it. And out of bounds is Brooklyn gains possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. The Nets with the lead. And here is Durant. Seven points in the game. Can't get it to fall. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. And Boom, he chains it straight down. That's going to be a big morale booster. And you know what? It could come down to those second chance buckets when it's all said and done today. Well, especially in a close game. Oh, how was that late, man? Oh, my God, yo. Now, Warren. I can't see it. Following the miss by Evan Fournier from deep. The shot. Why the fuck is he playing? You know what? I don't even play one of the way out to now it's a five-point Nets lead. Pass to Barry. Looking for Warren. He gets it there. Oh, my God. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. Curry's got the ball. Now Harris. The Nets working the ball around now. Right side, Kevin Durant. It's not going to go for him. And New York will come the other way. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. They start a three-game homestand with that game. It's Fournier on the wing. Trying to get something yeah. going. And oh, falls. Tom. Nice beat yeah. that time from Brunson. Fournier's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. To the inside. Pass to KD. Turn around Jay. No good off the back of the rim. They've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for them. Barrett, no good. And after that trade request this summer, Kevin Durant still a Brooklyn net. But the offers weren't enough to move the needle, and the decision was made to run it back. One thing's for sure, when you've got KD, you've got a chance. Brunson, no good. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he should, despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Outside Warren. Good on the triple. Well, T.J. Warren trusts that shot. Trust me, fantastic at shooting with purpose off the pass. That's alliteration. Now here's Brunson. Outside Fournier. Shoots over Warren. New York, no good that time either. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. They 
right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Here's Harris. Pass to Curry. Six to shoot. And there's the try. I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Jackson with it. Jacks up a three. Knocks down the three ball. Brunson's got six. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Back at it, y'all. Let's go. And so it's Brooklyn with it. They lead by four. Down low. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. <laughs> you love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Yeah, pestering right now. And that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. Now here's Simmons. And go right side. Let's it go from deep. Simmons pulls it in. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Here's Irving. He's got six. Outside Warren. Five to shoot. Side Irving. Good defense, Mitch. Let's go. Clock violation. Great D. Here's Brunson. He has six. To the middle. Here's Robinson. And it's Robinson with the jam. An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Outside Irving. Robinson with the block. Well, hard to score when Robinson's down there being a factor. Here's Barrett. Barrett, what's up? I swear to God, these motherfuckers can't dunk, bro. What's up with Nets. this fucking shit, man? Damn. Now here's Irving. The kick out to Warren. Oh, no, man. Fuck, yo. I hate this fucking shit. Warren's got five. You know, Greg, you played on some gritty teams, and we hear that expression, getting punched in the mouth. And it's not usually literal, but what's that look like on the floor? What's it feel like on the floor? Kevin, you, you're just out hustling and out muscling the team. At times, you'll see it. They kind of checked out mentally, and, and I'll tell you what, it is one of the best feelings in sport. And here's Harris from the arc. That one's a miss. His third shot of the game, he's made one of them. And 
Brunson has it in the corner. Pass to Robinson. Find to find Brunson. Gets it to him. A shot Yo, this uh... go the other way with it. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long Hopefully, time. Man. Come on, Barrett. Fuck, yo. Yeah, no good. Brooklyn leading by four. Warren on the wing. Back to Irving. Oh, shit. Randall grabs the board. Barrett plays it up and banks it in. Barrett's got his second bucket of the night. The Barrett getting down low doesn't mean he can't be aggressive. He was on that play. Pass to Simmons. Looking to get it going. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Irving. That's just poor communication between those two. The passer has to make sure his teammate is established, and the teammate has to know the pass is coming. See, that's communication. Robinson with it. Looking for McGee. He gets it there. And that's a foul. Called on T.J. Ward. That's foul number two for him. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. McGee. He's got six. Can't tie it up as that one misses. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding what might tell the story in this right. game. And O'Neal gets it to go. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Pass to McGee. Good work defensively by KD. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Excellent D that time there from McGee. And here is Quickly. And he's got his first free throw of the game. A free throw drops for quickly. New York calls timeout. Brad, one thing you can say about JaVale McGee, wherever he goes, success seems to follow. Oh, for sure. Since 2017, he's won multiple rings. He brings great intensity to the court on both ends, runs the floor and patrols the paint. He's just the kind of big man you want to call on when the team needs it. Yo, Alpha, what's going on, man? How you doing, bro? Hey, I appreciate that sub, too, man. Definitely did. And quickly drops them both. That's leading by three. Irving with it. He has six. 
from deep three point Try to bait him. Here we go. Pulls it in. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Now to Hardaway. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. Lock at six. Pass to Reddish. And they're unable to get the time basket there. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Nets lead by three. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports. How them Nets looking, how them Nets looking out there, man? Yeah, I'm going to tune into the Laker game myself, too, man. So, um... I actually, I actually got my other monitor unlocked, man. My girlfriend's uh, son was able to unlock my old monitor, man, I couldn't get into. So now I got three monitors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that one up as my gaming monitor and then use one of the other ones for a TV and then, you know, my streaming software. So, because I kind of want to be like tune in to sports games and stuff while I'm, you know, at my desk and shit. Thanks, guys. The Nets have tremendous talent, of course, oh, come but there have been some challenges. Katie says, I, I know the out. fans <laughs> have high expectations for us, but if you're a fan, you'll appreciate Nets basketball and what we're trying to build. Yeah, yep. Yep, I got a, I got a layout on how I'm going to do it, too. Um, this ain't even my, this not even my, uh, my original layout. Uh, I'm having problems with, uh, OBS for some reason. Uh, uh, come on, I'm playing like a, like a ass, man. Shit. Right side, Irving. I'm all, about, all over the place, man. And here's Harris from the arc. Trains the three point. Oh, oh God. Yo. Harris has got the lead up to eight now for the Nets. I'm gonna yeah, try that. What you call it next? Harris become much more assertive. Have to respect how much he believes in his jump shot. Now here's Barrett, and the call will be against R.J. Barrett. How oh, he's hunting to leaf the top. basket. And, and we uh. just seen them make mistakes on back-to-back -back trips. Yeah, I'll try that. It's a little gimmick these guys are doing in this league, man, Brooklyn and it's, it's fucking up the uh, defensive AI. Watch how, watch how he moves with uh with KD. You see what he's doing? He's trying to make him like coast and, and, and glide. So when it happens, watch what it does to these motherfucking players. Pass to Simmons. Six on the shot clock. Hey, he ain't do it now. He can't do it now, but it's something I've been noticing, man. You know what I mean? I don't want to put nobody out there, but they know what they're doing. Yeah, that's what I use. I use Streamlabs OBS as my main one, but that's the one that's like, it's fucking up, man. Like, I can't get my sound right. All my layouts is on there. This one here is the game capture one that I'm using. Randall can hold his own down on the inside with that physical frame. The Knicks do their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Oh, I knew he was going to miss that shit. Come on, Julius. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of Look, look, look. How is he wide open, man? It's rebounded by New York. Now here's Brunson. There's the drive. Back to Randall. Looking for Fournier. Gets it there. Oh. Picked him clean. I tried. I tried. My bad. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes. Look, look, look. Oh, my God, yo. You see? You see? He did the stop thing. Look, look. He's got six. I'm fucking about to get done with this league, man. These motherfuckers are crazy, yo. This shit is trash, man. I ain't even gonna hold you, yo. Niggas always finding some type of fucking gimmick, yo. Always. Here's Randall. Outside Fournier. And no good. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. 
Following this run, they get to host the Mavericks. And that's game All right, two I'll do that. string of four games played at home. Inside. Outside Irving. Look, a lot of turbo went on source of shit, man. Shit. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Thank you, yo. And pushing it up. Here's New York. Angles running. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That'll be his second foul of the game. Substitution on the court. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. There's a screen by Robinson. Fournier in the corner. And he converts the layup. Five points in the game. And the footwork from Fournier was really nice there. Warren with the ball. Picked up by Barrett. What do you mean? Oh shit. What do you mean catch head on, on uh on five man? On the wing, Irving. He's got eight. Back to one. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Robinson. They get it again. And Robinson comes to help. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Knicks trail by seven. Now Brunson, he has six, and it's I off can't from fucking shoot, man. Ugh. I think I know what it is. I think it's that camera, camera height. I did change it. Steps back. Nice move. Nice, nice move, Ocho. Irving's got the. Drop one more, one more thing. It was eight nine. At one point, and I shot ten times better. Up to nine now for the next. You just never know where the shots are going to come from from Kyrie on the inside. So creative with his finishes. Pass to Fournier. Off target from three-point range. Slightly late. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. And the call to mm -hmm. foul. So he's got come on, baby. Come on, chance buddy. here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, normally I switch everything too, though, but I don't know. It's just some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown. Trying to figure it out, man. The three pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up, and boy, have they. Oh, shit. Nice. They've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. For three, Harris. Good on the three point shot. Harris has got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Nets. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Pastor Randall to halt the run. Start going to the, the basket. Shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, he goes in there and you're worried about getting bumped if you're a defender by Julius Randall, not the other way around. So physical. <laughs> 2K definitely do, man. That shit don't never want to uh, do what you ask it to do, man. It's like the guy's IQs is just fucking retarded. I hate it. Look, 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 look. I mean, it's like a magnet, bro. The fuck that little nigga can pick this nigga, man. Alright, come on, BX. Missing free throws. Big bro. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Yeah, you know what? I definitely will. Um, you know what? I think I'm following you, matter of fact. I should be. I'm not sure. But I'll double check after this game for sure. And definitely tune into your videos. All right, man. I appreciate you, man. And yo, good luck, man. Hope them Lakers get a dub. They need it. Outside Irving. Pastor O'Neal. This one for three. 
And the Nets, another three. And the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Outside, Robinson. Stolen by Warren. Here's Claxton. And... Too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Timeout called. The Nets. Next trail by 17. And here is Hardaway. No points in the game yet for him. There's a screen by Robinson. Pass to Toppin. Now, quickly. Some nice passing by New York here. And it's Hardaway again missing. They have been bored and dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Back to Simmons. Toppin pulls it in. Here's quickly. Here's Brett. No good on the triple. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on a 20 to 6 run. And the basket by Curry. 12 straight points off of three pointers, and the D looks shell shot. Pass to Hardaway. Back to quickly. Just five to shoot. Now, here's Toppet. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Toppin's got five. Well, the defense doesn't want to let Obi Toppin find some comfortability from that range. Back to Curry. Back to Claxton. Simmons on the wing. It's rebounded by New York. On the wing, Hardaway. Into the lane. Got a piece of it. Curry fires from way outside. And the Nets, another three. And how about the last five made shots? Have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a ride. And stolen by Simmons. Pass to Claxton. Outside, Simmons. Back 
to one. Clock at six. And the Nets, another three. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Hardaway, and again it's the Knicks missing. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. And they'll get another chance. Right side Durant. Shot clock at five. The turnaround jumper. Durant's got nine. And Durant's going to be able to shoot over the top of anybody in this game. Pass to Reddish. And here is Toppin. There's a minute 40 left for the third. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Durant for three. The Knicks pull it in. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Just good, aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Outside Curry. From outside the arc. Trains it from beyond the arc. Curry's got nine points now in the quarter. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Pass to Reddish. That one's not going to go. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. The kick out to Warren. From 15 feet away... Another one falls for Brooklyn. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here is Hardaway. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Topping with it. A shot, no good. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Pass to Hardaway. And so it's TJ Warren making up right for the Nets. He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. And we'll be back with you shortly. the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Nets. Right side, Kevin Durant. Simmons trying to get open. No good from Durant. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Here's quickly. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. It's the Nets now. To the paint. 
Here's Warren. Here's Warren with the jam. Just a natural born scorer. TJ Warren is consistent at attacking the defense in all kinds of ways. Quickly with it. Now guarded by Simmons. Here's Green. Six to shoot. Here's Toppin. No good on that one. Pass to Durant. And Katie throws it down. Great game for him. Double, double down. 11 points and 10 rebounds. Durant imposing his will this time at the rim. Green with the ball. Here's Grimes, down low, here's Sims, and he stops it. What a pass to set him up. Oh, fantastic dunk, and, and he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly, who knows, but there he is, and we see it very clearly. Timeout called, the Nets. About two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. The NBA announced its 75th anniversary team last year, Brent, with a lot of fanfare attached to it. What'd you think of the list? I thought the list was pretty good. You can always argue a, a few guys should have been on it, and it's probably a tough pill to swallow for current guys who have had tremendous careers to this point. Guys who have played eight or nine years that didn't maybe make this particular list. I'll tell you this, Kevin. In 25 years, will be another list. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot the D can afford to give him. Now, here's Durant. Harris outside. In the corner, Irving with it. Shot clock at three. Over quickly, and they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Pass to Green. He takes it in, and Curry pulls it down. Diversified scoring in this one for him. I love when everyone can get involved, a, a full team effort. He gets the open look, and he overshot that one, missing. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Pass to Grimes. Here's Toppin. And oh, he just jams it right over Ben Simmons. Wow. Then Toppin getting a little bit fancy with the throw down that time. Now Kevin Durant. Imano Ginobili recently inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame, and you won a couple rings with that guy. Give us some memories you can share about the great Ginobili. Oh, man. Uh, Manu is absolutely one of my favorite teammates of all time, Kevin, and one of the most delightful people that you ever could be around. I just think about the practices and the plane rides and him just joking around, and, and then something happens. He gets on the floor. He gets into the fourth quarter. It's time to win, and it's basically Manu Ginobili time. So I'm thrilled that he's been the Hall of Fame, and he deserves every bit of it. Simmons trying to get open. No good from Irving. And here is Toppin. Pass 
Webster quickly. They kick it out to Green. No good from outside. Brooklyn leading by 20. Durant inside. On the wing, Irving. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. And with those points, he puts an end to that 10-0 run by New York. New York calls timeout. Here's Brunson. Time call here. The Knicks decide to... Talk it over. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. But you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it's still fresh and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. Going by Thomas. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Here's Sumner. Outside Thomas. McGee with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by McGee. And a new group in for the Knicks. Shot clock at six. Look, look, look. He's trying it, yo. That shit is crazy, yo. That little herky jerky shit. Covered. The Knicks pull it in. The only reason he was open because I chased him, but he's not going to be open anymore because I put that shit on no help. Quickly with it. But if I have the, the, the help shit like I need, he, he'd have fucking made that. He'd have been wide open. On the Quickly's got four points in the quarter. Coaching staff would like some more shots from that range. Here's Sumner. With social media and the cult celebrity, a lot of pitfalls for players. Brent, is the NBA doing a good job preparing them to face those very public challenges? It's a really good question, Kevin, and I think what's interesting is to study players who've been in the NBA for a while that are embracing social media versus what you're seeing with younger players who have grown up with social media and how they handle that dynamic coming in. And I think, quite frankly, the younger players are a lot better at doing it than some of the older players. And stolen by Thomas. In transition, here come the Nets. And Sumner gets it to go. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Toppin. 
Bitch, he's still in the game. To the inside. And the foul on Obi Toppin. And that's foul number two for him. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. On defense, New York. Here's Sumner. Inside. And then short with the dunk. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now here's Reddish. He can't hit that time. Curry with the bounce pass. Nets passing it around. We're seeing a lot of pretty lively pregame dance routines from the players. You got any of that in your repertoire, say, before we begin a broadcast? No, I can't. Kevin, I, I think pretty soon we should work out a few sequences. You know, get ourselves fired up. You game? No. Come on, Greg. I'm not sure about that. But you, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> And that bump does not throw Cam Reddish off. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Now here's Curry. Rebounded by Hardaway. In the corner, it's Toppin. Pass to Reddish. Six to shoot. There's a screen by Robinson. Bobbed up there for Robinson. Curry with it. And it's Toppin picking him up. Here's Sumner. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Now, here's Quickly. On the wing, Hardaway. Oh, my and God. stolen by Thomas. Oh, Mitch, man. Curry hey. fires from way outside. Gets the three-point of the fall. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And here are the Nets. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Pass to Sumner. From deep. Shot clock reset for the Nets. Warren, good. He's a solid rebounder for his position at forward. Six foot eight. TJ Warren getting inside and being in the right spot. Here's Hardaway. Lays it up off the glass. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Here's Sumner. Chopping with the double team. A three from Warren. That shot is off. And New York the other way now. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Nets. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And ever win in Port. And this one will go down is win number three. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And a lot of players tonight helped contribute to this performance. But in particular, a real good game it was for T.J. Warren. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you.
We've got 108 left to play in the final quarter. Carries it down low. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Now, here's Toppin. Here's Quickly. The rebound by Sharp. They are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Goes up from the top of the key. And Hardaway gets it to go. Pretty nice work there in the open floor. Hardaway Jr. good at running to the right spot on the court and being ready. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Sumner. Five on the clock. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Now, quickly. Offline. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great...